Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, my friend wants to learn C and as his first programming language, how do I convince him that C is a dying language and that JavaScript is the way to go? Um, I think that you should keep your mouth shut, dude and not project onto this person. Like, I'm not gonna say too much about this because I don't know if, I mean, if your friend really like, has no clue about anything and he's like, this is his first introduction to programming and he's thinking that, oh yeah, if I learn C, I'm gonna be a web developer, then yes, like, there's not, then there's no question that C is probably not a good choice for him because JavaScript will definitely suit him better for web purposes. But to state that C is a dying language, that's going pretty damn far, my friend. I feel like we're in a little bit of a situation saying this is like a, I mean, it's a blind man leading a blind man. Uh, dude, C is arguably one of the most important languages that we have. If you're going to do anything at all at the system level, C is a pretty important language and I can't see anything happening that would make C go away anytime soon. If you're going to do embedded systems, you're going to do like uh, operating system types of level of things, if you're going to do robotics, if you're going to do anything like that, <clears throat> anything that is close uh, cl like that is fairly close to the hardware, C is going to be for most intents and purposes you're f one of the most important languages that you can possibly imagine and see that's the thing right uh, if if that is if if you are interested in learning say web yes you are correct but you should check with your friend first and foremost if he understand because that's the thing guys like programming is programming sure all, most of the construct that you find in one language is going to be found in another language, but at the same time you have to remember that I I even if that is the case, some languages are associated with a certain type of development and some languages are not associated with that thing. So even though all languages will technically teach you sort of how to do some forms of programming, there are s certain languages that will move you in one direction versus another direction. So if your friend is more of a system level developer and really is into this sort of stuff, don't hold that person back. It is true that say web and web development is a bigger area. That's no, absolutely. If, if, if you're looking for the biggest market in terms of job opportunities and flexibility and stuff of that nature, then yes, JavaScript is probably a better choice because web is a better choice for from that perspective. But guys, there are so many opportunities related to lower level of programming where C or C++ or similar languages I mean, even Java, if you want to do, uh, like you, you, even if you go to Java, you can find work working on the lower levels of the, of the, of the tech stack. Uh, so it all really comes down to what is it that you really want to do. And I can promise you that the, requ like the demand for the vast majority of programs, like it's, it's pretty high. I mean, I'm, I'm not lying, I'm going to lie to you and say that it's not, there's not a difference because of course, if you want to do something that is much lower level and a little bit more niched and not the sort of thing that uh, the mo the vast majority of companies are doing because the mo the vast majority of companies have a need for an e-commerce platform it is not the same thing when you're dealing with hardware or things of that nature that are, there is a big market for it it is not it's just not as big so if you want to really get close and intimate with the hardware or system levels development or things like that then C is a really good first language for you to learn. And I mean, I would even go as far as to say that if you are a web developer or like when and you've kind of gotten the hang of just building web applications, C is still a very good language for you to learn. It will teach you things about how the actual computer works. Because when you're working in JavaScript or whatever other language you might be using on the 
from the higher levels of the stack, you, you, a lot of the nitty gritty details about how the computer actually works is abstracted away from you so you, that you can be more productive. But see, I mean, it, that that is, uh, it, it's not assembly, but it is probably as close as you're gonna get without actually writing assembly or something of that nature and it will show you just like how close you can get to the hardware and actually give you a much better and more profound understanding of how a computer works and I think that that is a very healthy exercise for any developer to go through it's uh, I'm not saying that you have to do it I'm just saying that if you really want to understand how all of the pieces work or at the very least at the high level understand it it is one. It is probably. I don't think. I can't think of any other language that will be better to 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 have a look at. So what I want you to take away from this is that C is not dying, my friend. Not by a long shot. Even a, a lot of the, your favorite programming languages are st is still extremely dependent on C bindings and like the C language so to even be able to do some of the stuff that you take for granted every single day and C is by far and wide the most important programming language when you get really close to the hardware so if your friend is the sort of person who really gets excited about being that low level or the, the, and so close and closer to the hardware then he's doing all the right he's making all the right moves this is definitely something that is going to give move him in that direction if on the other hand that your your friend wants to be a web developer then no you are absolutely right then javascript will be a much better investment for him because it's a much more important language in the web stack but you have to understand that different languages are useful for different things so without understanding what the intent is and the thing that you want to build well, then you can't really make a recommendation. So if you're telling your friend to not use C because it's a dying language, which is to begin with not actually correct, you might actually stop him from learning something that will put, put them in the right direction. So check with him first. Do you want to work with hardware or lower levels of programming, or do you want to be a web developer? Because if he wants the low level stuff, C is the best, probably the best choice that he can make. If he wants to be a web developer, well, then he should go on and get into JavaScript. Have a great day.